Hey everybody, Wandering Kid here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Space Chem. I'm on Hephaestus 4, and we're going to start tackling the research levels, the first of which is Like a Boss. Now the purpose of Like a Boss is to take carbon and hydrogen on separate inputs and turn it into methane. The biggest problem with this is to do any kind of crossover work, you just start running into the walls because of where hydrogen comes in. So we're going to have to do some kind of rotational bit with, um... Blah. <laughs> with hydrogen and carbon. So we're gonna start with blue, just to make my life a little easier, it's right here. So we're gonna come up here, we're gonna grab our carbon, and we're gonna come up, and we're going to drop it off. We'll have red come through. Do an in, a bond. Leave that. A grab drop. We will rotate once. Come around and grab drop it again. And we will tell blue to sink. So blue has come up here. Blue gets one sink, two sinks, three sinks. So that's once. So we've dropped here, red goes through, and is dropping off, second sink, that's our second carbon, third sink, okay, we're actually going to flip the way blue goes, and actually don't touch that, we're going to delete that, we're going to sink blue again, we're going to sink three, and sink four, on the fourth sink, it's going to come through, we're gonna make that a grab drop. I'm not quite sure what I did to my red icon here. There we go. And actually, I may want more sinks. And the reason I may want more sinks is because I don't want red to go until blue comes back through. So I'm gonna put another sink here for red. We're going to make blue a little longer round. Two, 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 and one. We will drop it there, come back, do an output on Psy, come back in, I think I've got my sinks off. Okay, so this sink, lights this up, it goes through its process, we've moved to this sink, let me see how this looks. Oops, I lost my rotation. Okay, I don't have enough sinks because I don't have my other carbon. So that's supposed to occur when I get back up to that sink. So this sink should trigger this. So it goes through one more time, sets it up. That's okay. So let's clear that sink. Let's put this one down here. Good. Now that one's waiting for me to come through with a new carbon. There we go. That works out. I knew I just had to get the sinks lined up. And there we go. So that'll get methane built, and we just gotta keep rotating. Not too bad, 534 cycles, 33 symbols, I can live with that. Our next board, Sacre Bleu. This is because the French um, company is yelling and screaming at you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so in this board, we're going to have to ship out a hydrogen atom and uh, acid Acetonitril, Adam. Acetonitril? Acetonitril. I'll go with acetonitril. An acetonitril, Adam. Or molecule. So what we basically have to do is detach one of our hydrogens from methane. 
and detach a hydrogen from hydrogen cyanide. Turn that into an H2 atom and hook the rest up together. In theory, not too bad. In practice, a little aggravating. So if we bring things in, it'll look like that. Now you may notice that I've kind of lined these up on purpose. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a, an unbond here and a grab. An unbond here and a grab. Now, obviously, they'll run into each other if I'm not careful. So blue's going to go up this way while red comes this way. Which doesn't work because I got a hydrogen in the way. So let's space red out of here, but I have a little extra time to get through. Okay, I'm going to need more time. Oops. Okay, so that lets them pass in the night. Now blue's gonna come back up this way. Bond once. Come over here. Deliver. Do an output. And sync. Red is gonna come this way. Do a bond. I've got it by that atom, so it's gonna come there. Do an out on omega. And sync. And there we go. Now that they're synced up, they can just keep going. One hundred and ninety six cycles, twenty eight symbols, one reactor. Not bad. So another research board is the plot thickens. Now on this board, we've got to make polyethylene. You'll notice that our output on the right is a huge output. It's the psi output only. And unlike most research boards, this one takes some trickery. So I'm going to give you some hints for it in case you want to try it on your own. Hints for the board. Hint one. Use your sensor to determine when you should ship the polyethylene. Hint 2. You're going to need to construct your CH2, then move it over for assembly. Hint 3. Use one Waldo for construction of the CH2, another Waldo for the construction of the polyethylene. Alright, so let's get going. Let's start off with just doing this with the red Waldo, and you can see the pattern, and then I'll show you how to bring blue in as well. We're going to put the sensor up here for the moment. So we've got red. We're going to bring it in, and we're going to grab it. We're going to head down this way. Now, hydrogen is in an annoying position, but that's okay. We're going to come through. We're going to do an in on beta, and as we come through, we're going to bond. And... Once we bonded it, we're going to start rotating it, and we're going to rotate it that way. Twice. We're going to do another in, and we're going to bond again with it straight up. Now, what we've ended up doing is creating an up-down uh, CH2. At this point, we're going to need to rotate it again, but we're going to need to decide where we want to build. So once we're over here, I'm going to rotate it back to straight. We're going to come this way. And now you're going to see where we're going to use these last two. We're going to come in here with it. We're going to do a bond. We're going to do go up, and we're going to drop it. And we're going to cycle it back in. Now, we know this needs to be six high. So if I've built, bonded, and dropped one, two, three, four, five, six high, if after doing that, I have a hydrogen in that position, we're going to out.
So here's how it looks. We bring in a carbon, we bring in a hydrogen, we bond it, we spin it around twice. I need to hit the correct ends. That should be an in on beta. So there we go. Now we've rotated it straight. We bring in our carbon hydrogen. Try to bond it. It doesn't bond, so we drop it off. Hydrogen's not here. We go around again. Now this time we're bringing it in. It will be able to bond. Drops it off. And now we're just going to construct it going up. And six. Which will now ship it out. So that's the first of them. Now to do this in any kind of speed, oops, we're probably going to want to use both Waldos. So what we're looking at here is, is instead of going through all of this process, we're going to come over here, we're going to rotate it, drop it off, and go back in. However, I want to make sure that blues came back before I start this process again, so I'm going to t uh, sink there to make... Oh, actually, you know what? I don't know. We're going to see if I can get this timed right. So blue, at some point, will start, and we'll do a grab drop here. It'll come round. It will do its bond. It will come up. It will do its drop. Yes, I will need a sync on this. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to sync red there and sync blue here because blue will get uh, out of position because of the hydrogen check. So it will grab, it will rotate, it will bond, drop. If it's hydrogen, ship psi. and then come back in and play. So we'll have red build our atom, we'll sync it. Blue will go through the process. How did I double bond that carbon? Hang on. This is why. If you notice, my timers are off. If this is bonding, on the exact moment this is bonding. So I need to adjust where I'm going to build these out at. And what we're going to simply do is move everything here up by one. So we've done our bond and red is long gone at that point. And that will keep me from colliding with my own carbon connections. So we've built six, we come up here, we send it out, we come back in for a sync, and we're good to go. So now we just wait for it to go through. Not too shabby, 968 cycles, 29 symbols, one reactor. And that will open up the final research board, Danger Zone. Now, Danger Zone brings in either one or two hydrogens. Or, excuse me. It brings in either in an H or an H2, and we need to ship H2. This isn't as hard as it looks. We've got a pretty um, relatively simplistic process here. We're going to put blue over here for the moment. We're going to end up bringing in... Let's see here. Bring in an atom. If there's an H here, meaning we've got our R2H, come through, grab it, drop it, ship it. Repeat. If not, come down here, grab it, drop it for blue, tell blue it's on its first round, and sync it. And then go and repeat. Now blue's going to have to have a very tight process to make sure it can't run into itself. So we're going to start blue here, and we'll sink it, oops, we'll sink it here, so that as soon as it sinks, it knows to go in. Then it's going to drop here, and we're going to, oops, 
sink again. On the second one, once it sinks again, and remember we've got our grab here. We're going to drop there. We're going to come down here. Instead of dropping, we're going to bond it. Bring it over. Drop it. And we need to get back up there. There we go. And we'll do an out on side. So here's how this looks. Red starts up. It sees it's a 2H or an H2. Goes through. Ships it out. Comes back in. Again, H2. Ships it out. There we go. Single H. Brings it through. Sinks blue. Tells it to go get that out of my way. Tells blue, okay, get that out of my way again. Now it's got an H2. Now notice H just dropped it off and it's waiting for blue to get back make sure that it's uh, good to go and it starts up and now blue will wait until red finds another single H and so on and so forth there you go 277 cycles one reactor 30 symbols now we can't get to this board until we complete molecular foundry and we work our way in so that will be for our next episode as always, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like or a comment. They're always appreciated. And I will see you next time.